Uh, this is the mounting manual and this is what you really should use when you mount uh, high low. Here are all the fittings which are found in the large box with the front together with all loose parts. The few tools you need you will also find on the front of the assembly guide, bits and some other tools. This is step one. We have now unpacked all three hilo sides and we start with the left one. The first thing we're going to do is to assemble six small barrel nuts. They go in three holes on this side and another three holes on the inside of the sorber. Just put it in the hole and then I check that it's correctly inserted. And one extra trick is to test it with this 70 millimeter screw. This one is perfectly mounted. And now before we move to step two, just make sure that the adjustable feet are screwed in. In step two, you do the same thing with the right side as we just did in, in step one with the left. This is step three. Now we're putting the inner front absorbent together with one of the sides. Make sure you have a 90 degree angle to make the screws go in easily. This is a 70 millimeter punter screw and don't make it too tight. That will come later. Finishing the right front in step three. One good tip is to check that the barrel nut is in position by putting a screwdriver in the hole. Then the screw will go easily into position. And don't draw it too hard, remember that. Step four is about preparing the middle front absorber. First, check that the feet are screwed in and then we will walk around here and put the power cable and the hand control cable through a little tiny hole here from the inside to the outside. Just like that. I pick them out here and I will insert the power cable on the control box just like that and I will put the hand control cable in place like that. When handling the middle front absorber make sure that you don't tilt it. This is a sensitive part in Hilo. There are during transportation some security measures. Uh, see that they are there or be careful when you carry it. The hand control and the power cable inside Hilo. Now we put the front wall in position. We do that by lifting the side and pushing in the front wall like that. Step six is about putting the engine cables in position like that and we do the same thing here make sure the motor cables are on the inside so they won't interfere with the front when we mount that step seven Hilo is connected to the outlet Make sure you haven't mounted the screws here in the front yet because now we're going to level and synchronize the three walls with each other. And this is done by pushing the two buttons here. You heard the click? Now Hilo is leveled. Chapter 8. It's time to mount the head nuts. Make sure you have the 90 degree angle so you make it easier for yourself. We're now mounting the head nuts and when you do the mounting, head nuts and all other nuts, make sure you don't use too much momentum. On our screwdrivers we use 17. This is chapter 9. Raise high low for just some 10 centimeters or something because now we're putting two barrel nuts in place.
like that. And it's time to put the joints together. And the reason we didn't tighten the inner absorber is, is just to have some margin here if we need to move the front sidewise a little bit like that and not too hard. Make sure you don't tighten the screws too much. This is MDF and you might break it. Now it's step 10 and we're going to elevate high up. Rise and shine. What we are doing now is tightening the inner absorbent. So the six screws in the inner absorbent are now tightened to level 17 on the screwdriver, like that. putting the front absorber in place. First we have to check that the barrel nuts are in the proper position. We do that with a screwdriver as you remember. You can also check it with a screw. Now we know they are in place for sure. Another thing is to check that all cables are out of the way for the mounting of the front. Here comes the front and in goes the first 70 millimeter screw. Just like that. Now that we've finished mounting screws on the outside, be sure, make sure that you didn't screw them too long in. This is because from the inside, we're putting in three 10 centimeter screws. And now you need the help from a dear friend to put the foot on the outside, just to put some pressure and make the inner screw fit like that. This is step 12. Make sure all screws are tighter now. The two old screws on Hilo, the ones you have worked with, but also others like these ones. And now it's time for leveling. Finally, we're reaching the important part of leveling high low. You can do it with a spirit level, but we prefer to use a laser. As you can see here, we have to do quite some work with the adjustable feet to get high low nice leveled. We prefer to use this inner line as our measurement. There are seven adjustable feet like this to help you level high low. Don't use ordinary wrench, it's too high. Use one of these before, then you dive under high low. And start adjusting. This is how we want it. Probably the, the most important part in the mounting of Hilo. It takes some effort, but it's worth it because it's going to make a real stable Hilo. 13. After adjusting the, the feet, it's important to do another leveling. We're now synchronizing Hilo again. 
And this you should also do when you move highly from one localization to another. And after we have done this, we just are going to check high low that it works properly and just uh, let it go up and down for a couple of times. The last thing you have to do is to mount the hand control under the table and make sure there's a slack, slack just like for the cables for the height adjustable desk. There are four preset heights for Hilo. You can adjust them for yourself or you can use the random. Uh, you will find the information on the home page or in the information sent to you together with Hilo. Well folks, that's about everything. Hope you will have a great time with your Hilos.